Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we have an exercise and that is to search for substrings. So write a program that inputs a line of text and a search string from the keyboard. Using the function str str, locate the first occurrence of the search string in the line of text. Assign the location to a variable search ptr of the type character pointer. If the search string is found, print the remainder of the line of the text beginning with the search string. Then use the str str again to locate the next occurrence of the search string in the line of text. If a second occurrence is found, print the remainder of the line of text beginning with the second occurrence. Go on and try to solve this problem and come back to this video for the solution. Welcome back and this is the solution to the problem that we discussed about. As you can see in here that we are going to use this str str function and basically in this function we are going to be looking for a needle in a haystack. So that's easier to understand this function. Now let's go and define these two characters, uh, these two character arrays of haystack and also the needle and then we are going to prompt the user to enter a line of text we are going to store that inside of the haystack as you can see we have used the f gets function to store the string into the haystack then we are going to prompt the user once again and we want the user to enter the string that they want to search for and now this time we are going to use the scanf function to store the string literal that was entered by the user into the needle function. I did this because I wanted to show you that we have a multiple ways to read a string from the user. Now we have defined here the search ptr and this search ptr is going to search the needle inside of the haystack and return the pointer to this search ptr. And if the search ptr or the pointer was not null, that means that the needle was found and we are going to print the remainder of the string after finding the string. No, let's go and call this key maybe. After finding the key, and then we are going to print the search ptr. Else we have not found it, we will say to the user that the string was not found and the program will terminate. If the first occurrence was found, this uh, return statement will never going to be executed. So the program will continue. And now this time we are going to search for the needle and the rest of the sentence. And we do that by adding one into this search ptr. Search ptr is already pointing to the rest of the string. And if we add one to that, that means that we have moved one character and the rest of the string is going to be searched for. Now we are seeing that if that is not going to be null, I mean the result of this search is not going to be null, something was found. Whatever was found, we are going to store it here in the search ptr and the remainder string after the, after the second occurrence of the key is going to be printed as well. Now let's go and run this program, enter a line of text, I love you and you only. The string that I want to search for is you and the remainder string after finding the key is that you and you only and the remainder string after the second occurrence is going to be you only. And let's go and try once again, maybe this time we are going to search for something that is not going to be found. I love you and you only. And the string that I want to search for is going to be a car. Well, the string was never found. 
And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.